Welcome, Solar Nuts, to another episode of Children of a Dead Earth. Today, we are going to defend ourselves using a missile attack. So we have to defend a little space station here. And all we have is missiles to do that. And it looks like we're also going to be attacked by missiles. So let's see how we do that. Let's uh, take a look. I'm going to launch... 20 of each how much I have a whole bunch of these rounds I don't want to launch every one of them I probably already have but yeah whatever it'll be fine it'll be just fine Okay, so we have our little missile fleet. Uh, that'll be more than enough. So let's get it on a trajectory where it can intercept. Now we could do here an intercept that will take some time, but we don't want to do that. We have very, very high powered missiles and we want to show these off. Plus, if it takes too long, then we might get attacked. Uh, what on earth? That was strange. Okay, we'll point almost pure radial and a little bit normal. Interesting. Let's go. Let's see if we can nudge this a little bit better. Let's say it's kind of hard to play with this. I do really like the system as a whole, but it'd be nice if it was a little bit easier to tweak. Then again, I always forget we have this system that does just that. Oh, I really do like this view. Nothing else, just the lines that it generates are really neat. Okay, let's clear that out. Um, let's start over again. Come on, missiles, you can do this. Brain work. Okay. So we're in the right vicinity now. Let's see if we can get this. We'll have to go up a little bit normal. Wow, we're way, way off on one of the dimensions here. We're getting closer though. Come on. You know you want to do this. So, a real space battle, computers will do this for you. There we go. So let's see how this looks in our... 
Eh, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and run. 50 missiles launched at us. Okay. So we have to defend both the space station that's completely defenseless and our own thing. And all we have is some decoys. So we're going to fire off a few of these decoys. And these decoys work by basically being a hotter target than anything that we have. It's kind of a weird little view. Oh, there we go. So because they were a hotter target than anything around, you know, these missiles were basically heat-seeking missiles. I don't know if that'll be how future missiles are really done, but that's one of the major ways that they're done today. Uh, we'll go into the six hour. And he just launched more missiles at us. Oh, pity. Okay. Missile schooner. Let's aim. For your cannons. That looks like a good way to do this. So they're going to burn full speed. So this guy is trying to deflect and the missiles are trying to improve their aim. And now... They're failing to miss, and boom, boom, boom. So you see how these nuclear explosions look in space. And uh, this is more or less what happened. Notice they all kind of happen on one side of the object. So one side of it is super, super hot. Uh, basically, you don't have a fireball when you have a nuclear explosion in space. But what it will do instead is just conduct heat. So one, whatever's facing it, will get super, super hot. And uh, after you have one of these hot targets, then all of them can, you know, heat seek onto the, the super bright hot object and anything that's small won't have the same amount of heat. Okay, so all we have to do now is survive the second missile attack. So we'll just launch a bunch of flares. Hopefully that will be enough to keep them Incoming transmission. Oh, successful. Uh, we were not unscathed, but we did okay. If we had a little bit quicker of a missile intercept, I think we would have been completely unscathed. Ah, pity, but it happens. Okay, what do we got next? Rendezvous of rescue craft to disable Mercury in Mercury's fourth Lagrange point before it runs out of fuel. So one of the things this models very well is the Lagrange points because it actually deals with n-body physics. Now this is something Incoming that's not very intuitive to a lot of people. But um, here, we're going to go ahead and disable this. So you can see here the Lagrange point. This is a point where the gravity between Mercury and the Sun kind of cancel each other out such that you can actually orbit around there, albeit in a really strange fashion. Uh, uh, you can see even the frame of reference, it's kind of a figure eight type orbit but it'll be stable there and it can stay there for a long period of time. So these L4 and L5 is the one that's on the other side have been talked about being used for space stations. There's a couple of other ones of interest. There's the L3 that's on the opposite side of the, the planet. There's the L1 and 2, which are very close to it. Uh, L1 is between the Sun and Mercury, L2. These ones are less stable, but they're still somewhat stable than the... The L4 and L5 are the most stable of these points. Okay, anyways. We have a spacecraft. It has a lot of fuel. And we need to 
actually speed up. And so to speed up, you slow down. So actually we do need to speed up, but we need to speed up to leave the sun's orbit in such a way that we will be slowing down. Okay, now we can change our orbit a little bit. And if we're really lucky, there we have an intercept. Okay, so let's change things to the point of view of the gunship. And what we gotta do, we'll also focus on the gunship that we're trying to save here. And let's see if we can get the intercept distance so that it's very, very small because that will require less fuel to intercept. There we can join and we still have plenty of fuel left. Perfect. So now all we have to do, uh, let's switch it back to the soul's view just for the fun of it. You can see how complex this is, but we're just gonna run for a few days Now, you have the usual thing with orbital dynamics. It's kind of strange. We slow down with respect to the sun to speed up our orbit because you'll pass through these inner spots much, much quicker. And then we're catching up with the object in one year, roughly. Focus camera on, uh, let's go on the tanker. You see we're now quite close and we will start our process of intercepting it. And we're done. It's that easy. So we managed to do it with not very much fuel. That's pretty good. So uh, that'll be enough for this time. Uh, next time we will take on some mutineers and we'll see how that goes. So let me know whatever questions, comments, jokes, concerns, whatever you guys have. And thank you very much for all you do and your support. Uh, for now, keep on tracking and we will see you next time. Take care.